All right, now, last episode, we finished the block and OEM water pump and all the good stuff. Even the head is all done. So now we're going to install the ERP head stud, the genuine AEM cam gear. And here we are. We pre lubed the head studs and we tighten it on the block, hand tight. This way, we lubricate the bare threads on the block. So now we drop in the head gasket and then the head. And yes, of course, our favorite. We torque that head down and finish it up. And yes, all the torque sequence is going to be there. So this is going to be really fun because we're finishing up the engine. So hey, you know, this is going to be right for you. Let's go. Okay, here we are, and as you remember, in the last episode, we finished the block, the pistons, and all that's all. So, the oil pan is all good, closed up, I mean. And so, now we're gonna drop in the head, but let's go to the desk first. Here, we actually switched heads. We're using my spare core because the core of the, of the engine, the guys were, you know, not into spec, and so it's gonna cost a lot more for the owner, so we decided. We offered him to trade up for the core and we're just going to save the, his head for the future use. And this head is actually what we pointed on the video here. And of course, link will be in the description below. So now, let's proceed. And we check here the ERP head studs. As you can see, we brushed up all the threads with the ERP lube. This way, it's well lubricated and it's all going to be ready because let's go to the engine stand now. We're going to show you. We're going to hand tighten it onto the block first. This way, the block itself, the threads on the block gets lubricated well. Because this engine, we actually cleaned the block like with a solvent, with kerosene, twice. more uh, well, Twice or three times, I can't remember. But we will clean it that way. This one, that's why we always pre-lubricate the head studs. Even, especially when you're running stock, because, so that you don't pull threads. There you go. Okay, now we put the rest. All right. Yes. We actually decided to run the two head studs first on the dowel. This way it makes it easier for me to drop in the head in alignment. But of course, you know, it's optional for you guys. This is how we do it sometimes. All right, yeah. Okay, now we're gonna install the washers. As you notice, I put it on a piece on a small plastic plate or tub. This way, it's pre-lubricated, and I use my hands just to put the washers there. And then, of course, lastly, the bolts. Now it's gonna be hand tight. This way, it's well lubed. It's gonna be ready and good. All right. Okay. That now the nuts. Sorry. Yes, the last ones okay okay now we go with the first step we go with 22 feet pounds torque so we're going to continue this we're not going to time lapse because you know this is going to be fast and plus you know the clicking sound is good yes all right yes okay come on it's a few more after this two there's four left Okay. Yep. All right. And of course, you know, if you guys are enjoying the video, hit the like button because it helps the algorithm gain traction for the video. It gets spread out to wider audience. So hey, that helps a lot. And we appreciate every single like that you guys press. So thank you guys. All right. Now on to the last one. Sir, yes, sir. Okay, there you go. Okay, now on to the next step. Let's go, let's go. Yeah. Okay, the second and last step. 58 feet pounds torque. Because that's what we decided on because this is just NA. But on turbo, you will be follow the higher sequence. But if you're unsure with what you're building, always follow ERP's manual or directions, which is 63 on the final torque all right okay now we time lapse the rest because it's gonna take longer 
because you know it, it's it's a lot heavier now you can probably hear me breathe heavier so yep we time lapse this one all right okay now it's my colleague's turn to complete the rest but look at the engine it's all sealed up and complete with the head torqued well and the bottom end finished so yep it's gonna be all good and ready this is gonna be running really good i mean for a stock d16 a6 this is gonna surprise a lot of people definitely and he's gonna plan to he plans to use it for autocross occasionally and some track use so this is gonna be fun and reliable that's perfect right okay now look here okay now it's my colleague's turn okay now he dropped in the cam okay the time lapse it so that he just completed it and it's not gonna be too boring all right now the rocker arms are there you gotta lubricate all the cam cap bolts just to be sure because you know locally we always see some heads with the cam cap bolt with the threads pulled we're like come on it's just it's, it doesn't even take that much torque so you, all you gotta do is make sure it's well lubricated and of course the cam caps are aligned well so it doesn't pull threads right here we are now yes sir yes sir oh yeah em cam gear the blue printed oil pump this is gonna be a really really stout engine of course the next stuff that we gotta do is port match the p8 intake manifold onto a b16 throttle because that's what he will run and of course here we are yes sir yes sir looking good looking good and of course let's talk about the rest of the engine he actually runs a generic 421 like we used before and because his work his business works on stainless stuff he managed to modify it on his own so he has the same mod that we do on the collector this way it's 2.5 inches it's gonna be good and actually his hatchback runs a 1300 a d13b and it runs this exact same header and he already did the mods and runs a full 2.5 inches exhaust on a tanabe or apex i and one muffler so we know this is going to sound really really good once it's running right so i think hopefully the owner would have time sometime around the weekend here you can see with the valve cover on we actually decided to wrinkle paint the valve cover this way it looks really oem throw in some ngk blue high tension wires and this is gonna be pure oem stock right okay so hopefully this next weekend the owner gets to bring in his hatchback so we can pull the stock engine and put back this stock d16 a6 yes sir and of course we're gonna have a video we're gonna tune it and i'm gonna share with you guys how it sounds because i know it's gonna be sounding really good and i'm so excited about that and of course this is gonna get dyno too so hey that's something you gotta check of course we're gonna make a good video about the street tuning and of course on the dyno so as soon as that gets done you know you can click it right here